Hi guys, Glenn Summer from Sniper Photography. Look, today I want to talk to you about six pieces of equipment or kit that you don't need to take out a second mortgage to buy or purchase. And these six items I've been using for some time uh, out in the field uh, pertaining to my landscape photography, but you can use these um, pieces of gear for any type of photography that, you, um, that you're involved with. And as I said, they're not an expensive they're not expensive to buy. Now these, these six items, I believe, um, have helped me, and I know they'd probably help you if you um, took this along on your next photo shoot. So starting off, the first thing I want to talk about is this. It's a little plastic cube made out of, well obviously it's plastic or polyurethane or something like that. Now, these retail for about four to five dollars on eBay, and what it is, it's a bubble spirit level that fits on top of the hot shoe of your camera. And that way it enables me to make sure that my horizon line is straight. Now I know I can hear people out there, yeah, but Glenn, most modern digital SLRs have a feature built in, which all my cameras do as well, that you can go into your settings and find out if your camera's level. Well, that takes a little bit of time. Even though you might know where the setting is, you've still got to fumble around and this and that. And if you're operating in dark over, overcast conditions, you really haven't got time to be uh, mucking around with uh, dials or switches or programs or trying to find settings for this particular level inside the camera. So this is so good. Uh, I brought half a dozen of these because you might lose them or you might break them, but they're so good. I put them on top of the... Um, they go in through the hot shoe of the camera, and that way I know that my camera is level on the tripod when I'm looking at the horizon line. A really good piece of kit, around about $5, so that's what it is. It's a square bubble, bubble float level, a bit like what the tradies use on building sites, and you put that through your hot shoe, and it makes sure, and it tells you if your camera's level. <clears throat> the next piece of kit, really, um, and I've seen this so many times, people out, out and about, just taking normal photos, just running around, run and gun shooting, their camera dies. Why? Because their battery's gone flat or they forgot to charge it. So I suggest everyone carry spare batteries. Simple as that. I shoot Canon, that's the Canon batteries. Why not have a couple of them in your bag every time you leave the house to go out on a photo shoot? It'll save you a lot of time, a lot of grief. Um, once again, Canon sell these for about 80 bucks, um, but you know, I'd rather buy the proper Canon batteries. If you buy the non-branded um, batteries, they might be cheaper, but they take longer to charge and they don't hold as much charge. You don't get as many shots out of them. So try and uh, get the batteries that match your camera, you know, specifically made by that manufacturer, but carry spare batteries. That's number two in the kit. Number three, um, is I believe another thing that everyone should have because these things can fail on you, they can break down, um, they can just not stop working if you don't reformat and that's SD cards. So I always carry plenty of SD cards with me, as you can see, in a little case, little aluminium case. I think I paid about $12 off eBay for that. Um, very, very good. It's actually waterproof actually, I can't believe it. Um, I got caught in a storm recently, that did not let any water in. I carry five or six SD cards with it at any one time because you just never know when those things are going to um, fail on you. So number three, spare SD cards. The next thing is um, I use majority of the time when I'm going to shoot a landscape, it's always early morning, so I'm walking through the bush and scrub and Long beaches at four o'clock in the morning. It's still dark, of course, here on the east coast. So I use this. Simple. This is the Milwaukee headlamp. 80 lumens, can you believe it? I can't believe how good this thing is. Um, it's that powerful. Sometimes I've got to reduce the power in it. There's got a switch here that you can reduce the output. Um, really, really good to have if you're shooting very early of a morning, you've got to get, get to your location and it's still dark, or late of an afternoon if you're coming out and it's dark by the time you finish, late afternoon, early evening, this is a lifesaver. Um, you don't have to buy a Milwaukee one, this was around $120. Um, you can get cheaper ones, but try and get around the 90 to 110, 120 
But this Milwaukee one is absolutely outstanding. Um, USB chargeable as well. That's another piece of kit that I think everyone should have really. It just makes your life a lot more easy. And it's a lot safer for you as well. The next bit of kit number five. Now, if you're a Nikon or Nikon shooter and you're doing long exposures, you can close the viewfinder. There's a slide, a switch, and it slides a cover across your viewfinder. With Canon, you don't have that. You can use that little plastic clip thing on the camera strap. Well, I throw those camera straps away. I don't use them, but I use this. Piece of black cloth. What that does, that I just put that over the camera once I've formed the scene. I framed it. I fo focus perfectly. I put this over the back of the camera and that stops any stray light from getting in through the viewfinder, which can spoil your images, especially if you're shooting long exposures. So it's a piece of black cloth, very simple. Cost me nothing. Just over the camera like so, stops light from getting into the back of the camera. Um, that's another piece of kit, which really I think every landscape photographer should have, especially if you're involved with shooting long exposures like I am. Now this last piece of gear, um, a lot of people say, what's that thing hanging around your neck? Um, well, quite frankly, it's this. It's a Hoodman loop. Basically what this is, a bit of plastic, bit of rubber with an eyepiece. What this does, is it enables me to uh, look at the live view on the back of the camera, which I shoot with all the time, and I can focus perfectly on that, like so. Looking in the back of the back of the camera on live view, and that way I can pinpoint where my focus um, is either weak or it's blown out. Um, I get accurate focusing by using a Hoodman loop. A really really good piece of kit. They sell for around about one hundred and thirty dollars. So I suggest everyone grab one of these because it just enables you to get your focusing pin sharp. And also too, if this stray light coming in over your left or right shoulder and it's hitting that screen on the back of the camera. You know how hard it is trying to look, especially like, like using a mobile phone in the sun, you can't really see the screen. This thing eliminates that, it just blows it away. So it's a Hoodman loop. You put it at the back of the viewfinder like that and it's got an adjustment here, like so, which enables you to really look at the scene in the back of your camera uh, before and after you take the shot. So there's six items that um, I believe every landscape photographer should have in their bag. They certainly helped me over the years. And quite frankly, they're not all that expensive. I think the most expensive thing there was the Hoodman loop followed by the head torch from Milwaukee. But other than that, those six pieces of gear come with me all the time. Doesn't matter what I'm shooting, where I'm going. I always take that, those six pieces of or six items with me. So that's it for another episode of Sniper Photography. It's absolutely pelting down here in Sydney. Uh, was due to go out to photograph a few waterfalls, but where I wanted to go was a bit too risky. So um, I'm going to hang back for a day or so. I know they'll be running very well, and I can rest assured that those six pieces of gear will be coming with me on that next shoot. So until then, as I always say, Keep smiling, keep shooting, be nice to yourself, family and friends, but most of all, you keep smiling and bye for now. See you next time.